Dort Peninsula is a significant feature in the Great Lakes region and obviously defines the shape of Wisconsin. I mean, we think about Wisconsin as a mitten and you know, that whole thumb is basically the Niagara Escarpment. Think of it as a relatively flat lying slab of rock. It's tilted slightly and it's actually slightly bowl shaped. So it's sort of bowl shaped to the west, to the north and to the east. Um, the bedrock that we live on, this Silurian Dolostone, is fairly resistant. And the glaciers would scrape out of the north, come off the Canadian uh, shield and scrape south. And so that Dolostone over time has stood proud as the, it, you know, the, basically the glaciers carved out the bay. Uh, that same slab is then carved by the Niagara River and Niagara Falls, and then it also continues into New York State, creating a huge gorge uh, downstream of Niagara Falls. Maybe the iconic species is the, the cedar trees that grow, grow along the cliff faces. You know, it, it's called Arbor Vitae, Tree of Life. And there's a number of reasons why people call it Tree of Life, and they're all valid. So it's a tree that can grow in really dry conditions and eke out its existence. I mean, when a seed falls in a little crack on an exposed cliff face that gets brutalized by the sun in the summertime and the cold winds and ice and yet can still grow, you know, sometimes just tiny, tiny growth rings every year, but it can hang on and survive. Um, I mean, some of those cliff trees are over a thousand years old, probably. We've never done enough study on the Dort Peninsula to know and to find some of those um, cedar trees that are uh, of that age, but there's probably there's some candidates. Um, but we think of them as being huge, and they're usually not. Generally, more twisted, more ragged, more broken, more dead. The more of the dead <laughs> dead branches on them, those are often good indicators that those are the really old ones. That's the tree that when Cartier, the French explorer, was coming through to map these lakes, his men were getting scurvy, and the Indians said, "Well, here, drink this," and they made tea from the leaves of the cedar tree, which have vitamin C in them, and they cured Cartier's men. And so I think that's really where they started calling it Tree of Life because it was a physical tree of life. But it's certainly also a tree of life in the sense of how tenacious it is in a landscape where it can grow in a swamp and also grow on a dry cliff. You know, it's, it's a fascinating tree.